Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame for iPad Mini. Your kit will include a windfall frame for iPad Mini, four drywall anchors, four drywall or wood mounting screws, four VESA mounting screws, four VESA mounting nuts, four fit adapters for iPad Mini 4, four screw caps, and an assembly tool. You'll need to supply your own tablet, either an iPad Mini 1, 2, 3, or in our case, a 4. And if you're going to be installing in the drywall, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, a hammer, and a level. First, I'm going to show you how to install your windfall frame onto a VESA compatible mounting solution like this monitor arm here. First thing we'll need to do is take the bezel off of our frame. We need to use our assembly tool to take out the screws. Next, we're going to take the back plate of our frame and mount it onto the monitor arm. To do so, we're going to need our VESA mounting screws. We're going to thread the screws through the back plate of our frame and through the plate of the monitor arm. Then we're going to take our VESA mounting nuts and secure the screws from the back. Now we can install our tablet. If we're gonna to wanna to power our tablet during use, now's the time to install our lightning cable. We've included small mouse holes here in the back plate of the frame to allow us to channel our power cord through our frame into our tablet. So we're gonna run it up from the bottom and let the cord rest in one of the mouse holes here. In addition, if we're gonna be using a Kensington ClickSafe cable lock, now's the time to install our ClickSafe anchor. We're going to take the ClickSafe anchor that was included with our cable lock kit and the assembly tool and install it into the back plate of the frame. We're going to take the T-bar and slide it through, then rotate it 90 degrees, and then tighten it down using the assembly tool. Since we're using an iPad Mini 4, we're going to need to use the included fit adapters. We're going to place the fit adapters in the small notches in the back plate of the frame. Now we can install our tablet and reinstall our bezel. You're going to want to be sure that you put the power port of the tablet on the same side that we put the power cord. For one of the final touches, we're going to take our screw caps and cover up the exposed hardware in the rear like this. Then we're going to take our Kensington ClickSafe cable lock and connect it to the head of the anchor in the back. Finally, we're going to connect our power cord to our tablet. Our tablet's powered, our frame is secure, and it's ready for use. To install our windfall frame onto a drywall, the first thing we'll need to do is to install our drywall anchors. As you can see, I've already gotten a head start. I took my drywall anchors and hammered them in about halfway in. Then I took my screwdriver and screwed it in the rest of the way. Now we can install the backplate of our frame onto our drywall. We're going to take the backplate of our frame and the long black mounting screws and install it into the wall. Before we go ahead and finish up our work, we should check it first with a level. Perfect. Next, we're going to take our four fit adapters and place them in the back plate of the frame. Then we can install our tablet and reinstall the bezel.
For the finishing touch, we're going to take our screw caps and cover up the exposed hardware in the rear like this. Our tablet secured, our frame is installed, and it's ready for use. And that's how you install your windfall frame for iPad Mini. If you have any questions, please contact us at service at hecklerdesign.com. Thanks for watching.